welcome back on this vlog i will be showing you what makes um road tripping here in japan affordable fun exciting um anyway um our family really loves road trips and we have we tried to experience here in japan and um there are different ways on like traveling here in japan but as everywhere we go everywhere we go we really love um road trips so here in japan i will be showing you what makes it more fun and exciting a uh, first is of course you need your car so it's just me and my husband so we usually um rent a car and we are so lucky that um here on base we have our own rental car and this is the rate of the rental cars so um if you would think of how much you would spend then you have to think of how much you are paying for the tolls because tolls here are very expensive and this is just one of the tolls that we paid that would really shock so. you with the price let's see how much we're going to pay 109 oh my gosh it's 109 90 cents. 90 cents. It's 10,990. So, if you would think there will be a daily rate and a weekly rate. So, for example, you're going to Kyoto. So, which would you prefer? Taking, renting a car or taking the bullet train? It's nice if you would just be staying on one place, but if you will be moving from one place to another then it will be expensive compared if you will be renting the car um what we also like about renting cars here aside from uh the rate which is just just the right rate is it includes tolls that's why you don't have to think of paying any tolls so they would be giving you vouchers that you would use to pay for tolls so on our on like for the first uh toll that's from base there's no ticket so all you have to do is just hand them the voucher and they will give you the receipt and you're good to go and but if there would be a ticket then you would hand them with the ticket and the voucher and also good to go with regards to there are tolls that there's no ticket there's nobody standing there waiting for you to pay then you have to call for help and someone will come to you and check your voucher uh, another thing about um renting a car here is we are driving a u.s government car and for me for us it's an advantage because they know that we are foreigners we are not from japan because it's a different plate number and they are everybody here are so nice they will understand if you miss exits you need to make a u-turn or you would like change lane because you are lost and that that's not it there are more reasons for you to have a road trip here in japan and what we always look forward to are the rest stops, and these are just one of them.
and this rest stop has a shower room. And most of the rest areas have cleaned, well-maintained, and large bathroom. And rest areas comes with a gasoline station that someone will pump gas for you. You will definitely pass by countless tunnels. Also see well architectured bridges.
we saw amusement parks by the road too. And you will definitely see all beautiful views. and beautiful houses on the neighboring area. So please don't forget to watch on my next vlogs as I will show you all the places that we've been to for the nine days of road tripping here in Japan. So from Yokosuka, we traveled all the way to Osaka. And the next day, we went to Hiroshima. From Hiroshima, we are going to Fukuoka, but we had a quick stop in Yamaguchi because there's a must-see in the area. From Fukuoka, we went to Nagasaki. And in Nagasaki is where Sasebo is also located, which is another naval base. From Nagasaki, we went to Owaita. Then... From Waita, we went to Iwakuni, which Iwakuni is also part of Hiroshima. From Hiroshima or Iwakuni, we went to Nagoya. From Nagoya, we went to Shizuka because there's one area in Shizuka which we missed when we went there and from Shizuka we went to Fujinomiya and head back home bye thank you